hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel gist nexus where you get all around entertainment gist okay so guys before we move to the video for the day if you've not subscribed to this channel yet i really don't know what you're waiting for click on the subscribe button and subscribe to this channel right now and don't forget to like and share this video thanks for watching bye while the rehearsals for the wager tax presentation was going on, Big Brother actually called the HOH to the diary room. And when Mitch came back, he brought out a briefing from Big Brother that they have to play a game. So basically, the game is that they had to go outside. There's a board and dice. So you roll the dice, you get a number, and you'd have to answer the questions. And the housemates had to ask the questions. So guys, it was mad fun because we saw some housemates that we actually misjudged that we thought that ah, this person doesn't know how to talk, this person is an introvert and all that. They let this and guys, it was so, so informative and also fun. Like the housemates actually enjoyed themselves and with the viewers, we actually enjoyed watching it also. So guys, yeah, they asked for him about her dream job and she was like, she wished to be a Victoria's Secret Monday because uh -uh, she got the body and she was like, okay, I've given birth to a child and my body is still bang. So definitely if I give it to another one, I'm still going to have a banging body. Okay, so Mitch said is the breadwinner of his family. Then Mali, they asked her to um, say her favorite uh, artist, and she said Ariana. She had to sing a song by Ariana. She just sang it, and it was okay. So, guys, normally, like after the person finishes tone, the other person will go for the next tone. And but, guys, when it was Mali's turn to call the next person, that's how Mali was like, "I'm gonna kiss this person." To come for his or her tone. So she now went around and guys, guess who she fished? She actually kissed Sammy M. And I was like, damn girl, like what is going on here? But whichever we like, you kissed in the not like really, really look kiss, but she kissed her in the lips and like, and that was up. So guys, Papa Ghost. Okay, so they asked him when how long did his last relationship last? And he said three years. And they also asked him that which does he prefer, younger women or older women? He said, yeah, he prefers the younger ones because he's a young man and he doesn't want a lady be like, oh, wait for me, wait for me. Like the lady has to match up with his energy. So guys, they also asked him, it, when it was Gerard Stone, that's how Papa goes now. Asked that okay, fine, like the whole asset and everything. He said, like, he has stayed in America for a long while. Then, when he came to South Africa, it was kind of like this um, victimization because of the way he spoke and with time he got used to it. Okay, so guys, they now asked him that was Papa Go's question. Papa Go asked him that, Does he think women are sweet or sorry? <laughs> he laughed. At some point, he was like, Oh, I don't want to answer this question. He was like, Okay, well, if you had asked me this days ago, I would have said they are sorry. But right now, you know, now they are sweet. So, guys, when he was saying this, the camera just moved to Lema and she was smiling. I was like, Hey, um, uh, could this be love? Dun, 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 dun. I'm like, Okay. Whatever is going on there is making sense because it seems like Jared and Lemma, oh yeah, the sheep has sailed to the permanent side. Okay, so we now had Polly. It was Polly Stone. And Polly was talking about how guys, like, I almost cried when she was talking about her relationship. She said that she had a boyfriend one time and the boyfriend was good with her. So I was like, okay, I've been coming to your house on Monday and all that. She was like, oh, my baby is coming. So that day she was on her way to work. She was in the cab before she would just, okay, let me look at social media. What's going on there? She saw the guy's wedding picture with another woman. She was like, damn. And she got off the cab. She went to the office and she cried out. I had out and at some point like the guy came back later and he was like i said the guy was kind of like trying to put the whole and what they call polygamy thing in her head and she was like if you wanted to marry me you would have married me first then even if you want to bring the whole polygamy thing you would have brought it later but now you're going, going to marry another person you're not coming back to me and all that so that was it then guys another person's session that actually got me and the house was like everybody was like wow 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 and they enjoyed it and they kept on asking him questions because it was one of the persons in the house like or he is one of the persons in the house that actually quiet more of like an introvert guys guess what i'm talking about here yeah mac jr so my jr came and he was talking i was like damn so at some point they were like and ah, where did he get the accent from like has he been to america before they said no they're growing up like he was more of like an introvert so he stayed home like he was watching tv and then fresh prince of Bel-Air uh, 
Will Smith was actually the main star in that movie. Like he liked Will so he actually emulated the way Will Smith was actually talking. Like he copied it to perfection. That when he came out, he was like, "Yo, you guys don't talk like this." So like he was already used to. He had already mastered the American accent, and there was no way he could actually let go of it. So that's why he started talking like that. And he said, "Okay, fine," because they were asking like, "Okay." Why is it that it gives everybody in the house equal opportunities, like equal equal chance? And it was like, okay, like growing up, like he didn't have that kind of chance. Like people kind of like victimized him and all that, that he grew up in the midst of four sisters. So people thought that the old girly tendencies and all that. And he actually said it that he is straight, like he's not gay or bisexual or anything that okay like he's seriously straight so that's why he likes giving people the opportunity and he said here yeah, that he is an introvert so guys they were just asking him questions and the guy was answering truthfully and was like damn this guy is actually it's, it's like he go, he's going on me right now like hearing him talk like housemates came to like get him to talk and get to know the kind of person he is because guys if you look at the last nominations like the nominations that happened yesterday like usually almost everybody was just saying Mac Jr. Mac Jr. and I could remember someone voted him because they were like hey, he's just somewhere like he doesn't really talk he doesn't achieve all that and after this I get why he is like that and I really feel like the housemates now understand him so guys why this was going on other housemates were enjoying themselves bravo b was on his seat dozing off you know this kind of sleep that when you're sleeping your head will fall off and you come back again you start again i was like damn guy like didn't you sleep in the middle of the night or what were you doing when others were sleeping well guys this is actually very eye-opening like i enjoyed every piece of this game so guys what are your thoughts on this hit the comment section i like to know your thoughts till i come back again guys see you all in my next video Bye bye